Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play The Alliance Alive. I'm your Game Master Darius. Last we left off, I might have done a little bit of Dryad Genocide. And uh, now it's time that we actually proceed with the plot of the game. Plot B. To go forth and um, finally go to the other realm. Where, where am I going? Where am I? Why am I up there? I need to go to the Burning Realm and then north. Don't know if there's any more loot to be found. I see that there's a bunch of construction points that I've missed out, but I don't exactly have loot. No more distraction. Oh, is this our destination? Yep, looks like it. Let's keep going already. Hold on. It seems like the Bionic is being pulled toward it. It might be dangerous to keep going. I'm getting a bad feeling about this. Charge in anyways, why not? We'll be fine. Let's just keep moving. Let's go. Okay, I'll steer as safely as I can. This is a new realm. That island is floating. It's so colorful. What the, did the ship break down? Not exactly. The magnetic waves here are interfering with the Bionic. At this rate, we're gonna crash. So I'm making an emergency landing. Did you return merely to joke with me? If the five ether gears in the human world are not maintaining the great barrier, this is a serious matter. The council has entrusted surface matters to me. Do you doubt that? I now have reason to. Where's your loyalty and devotion? My loyalty is not to the council, much less you personally. It is only to the rule of law. Then you're useless to me. You are relieved of your duties. That stubborn fool is a piece of work. Rouge, what's the matter? Our band of troublemakers appears to be nearing the fifth ether gear, the wave tower. How should we deal with this? I believe that they will reach it eventually if unchecked. There's a chance they may realize the tower's modifications. The wave tower has long since fulfilled its role. It'd be no hindrance to us if they learned what it is. Rather, the fact that they've gathered several ancient ether acts may be more troublesome. As a precaution, go to Esthern and seize the Holy Sword from the Star Herarch. Yes, my lord. What should I do if I encounter the Merry Band along the way? May I send along them to oblivion? <laughs> Leave them be. Destroying the Aether Gears will accomplish nothing. The planet is already entering its final stage. There is nothing they can do about it now. That said, they are a bit of an eyesore. Just as a precaution, it may save us some grief in the future to eliminate them now. Please witness as I bring back their heads from the surface. Their aim is the ether gear. They'll seek me out once I have the holy sword. <laughs> Very well, do as you please. However, the daughter of House Esmerode and her attendant are traveling with them. If you must fight fellow demons, even your skills may not be enough to handle them. They have managed to fend off even Grossa. There is little doubt that they are a powerful group. Please don't worry about my strength in battle. I have assembled our dragoons. Against us, they don't have even the slight chance of victory. They see. Fight well then. By your leave. Eh, not everyone in the council is up and up, huh? Well, we managed to settle it down. It seems we won't be able to use the 
Brian and Yacht are ornithometers in this realm. Hey, something's coming this way. Is that a dragon? Don't tell me it's Grossa again. I'm a dragon guard called Matilda. I'd like to meet the one in charge of this flying ship. Huh? Here's the captain of this ship. Captain Robbins, of course. Now that you mention it, cheeky if we go by age. Oh, but if Vivian age is... That's Lady Vivian to you. Yes, she has the highest status here, but I don't know if she'd captain a ship. Oh dear, but doesn't Tiggy know this ship best? Huh? I'm an engineer. Anything else is too annoying, so no thanks. Alright, Galil, that leaves you. Huh? What are you talking about? Why should I... Hurry up, Galil, you're making them wait. What? Why me? Oh, oh, oh what a pushover. My name is Galil. We came from the outside world. The outside world? Did you guys cause those thunderclouds to start acting strangely? I guess that's right. Each state, the thunderclouds grow by absorbing the surrounding clouds. This has never happened before. Hmm. What's your reason for coming to this realm? Our goal is to disarm the great barrier that's been s set up on the surface by demons. And we've come to this realm to find an Aether Gear, which is the device necessary to disarm the great barrier. I don't completely understand, and I can't quite believe it, but your goal may be related to the anomalies in the thunderclouds. I will have to meet. I will have you meet with Star Hierarch, Hierarch at Esthern. I'll lead the way. Follow me. Esthern is northeast of here. Let's go. Isn't Matilda the reliable kind of person we don't have enough of? This is kind of nice. Yeah, she seems way more dependable than Galil. Hmm. What? Eh, <laughs> she's calling you out, Galil. Ahem. That's all fine, but could you guys hurry up? Ah. Right. Immediately beset upon by freaking undead. Immediately. Also, I'm just realizing, um... My whole wall thing idea. It's great and all. Well. But I'm realizing, too, that, uh... Galil is also in the defensive position? Probably should put him in the attacking sort of position. Eh. Go away. Well, that, that worked. Okay, I understand. Alright, this area should be good. I thought we were going to a place called Esthern or something. Sorry, we needed to gauge your strength on our way there. Well then, let's head to Estern. It actually can't be reached by foot. Off Lazard. What? This is our city, Esthern. Now I'll take you to the temple. Come with me. Can I explore a little first? That was pretty incredible. Oh, some gust. A little too strong, if you ask me. It ruffled my flippers. I rather like that. I got a feeling I'm plot locked for a bit. Let's get to the shop. Maybe you have new swords. Medicine? Feels confused. Berserk and acuity statuses during combat. Divine medicine? Oh no. 
Dragon Reins. Bridle used by Dragon Wyverns, uniting Rider and Wyvern, and enhances the holder's body by raising strength and endurance. I'm gonna want all of these. And a new axe, which is better than Galil's. I was a little bit worried though. I looked at Barbarossa's and thinking to myself, oh god, is it better than his? No. Top Clown Spinal Axe made for shoguns and decorated military leaders. Its rare mix of race, beauty, and power demands great skill. So I'm gonna wanna. Valiantly raise your axe and strike an enemy to boost the morale of your teammates. Nice. Dragon plate, riding gloves, riding boots. This is very much a swamp oriented uh, place, isn't it? Well, uh, probably want to continue with the plot ASAP mini like, but I also want to explore a little bit. See if there's anything anywhere. You know, or chaos gems and the like. Hello? Our family has served for the Dragon Guard for generations. I actually want to become a scholar. <laughs> when I grow up, I'm going to be an amazing member of the Dragon Guard, just like Big Brother and Big Sister. Our family has raised many, ch many a child into upstanding members of the Dragon Guard through our devotion. I love how I'm like... 27 chapters in the game, and still some of the money drops are like 150. No matter what happens, I will never allow my personal feelings to interfere with living a lawful life. Well, alright then. I sworn my loyalty to the Star Hierarch. That also goes for my little brothers and sisters, of course. Ah, Pax Medicine. Whoa, don't scare me like that. It'd be really bad if I fell from here without a dragon. Are you looking for the exit to our town? The town doesn't have any exits. It can only fly out on dragon back. Ah. They really thought of that, didn't they? I flew here from Draco Dracopia, a village on the floating island far to the east. You need a flying dragon to get to Dracopia. It's not a place you can reach on foot. Man, they really did plot lock us here, didn't they? Plot lock, where you're not able to do or go anywhere until the plot continues. I mean, usually that's fine with me. Just one of those moments where it's like, okay. I guess I am continuing the plot, so. Hello. Hey, what's in the lower realms? I'd like to go visit someday. I wonder if they just thought that the world was floating. Oops. Valerian Lotte. I don't know what that is. Uh, oh. Lunch. Speaking of, I probably should consider lunch in a bit. I couldn't become a dragon guard. Still, I'm sure that my son and daughter will join in my stead. I may not be a dragon guard, but I'll protect my family. That means I need to find a lovely, lovely wife first. Priorities, I guess. Ah, the pub. Food here is really tasty, especially the sear on this meat. Just between you and me, I have feelings with the girls that girl that works here. She always spits in my direction, but one day I'll make her smile. My dude, you might want to just consider not. <laughs> no matter what challenges I face, I'll never give up. That's the creed of the Dragon Guard. It plays both war and love. If you would make one of us your enemy, you would never encounter a stronger opponent. I mean, if you say so. Strong medicine. Final dragon fire. Roast in the fires of hell, you lovely meats. Huh? If you want to have food to taste good, don't disturb my cooking. What a rowdy bunch. I don't mind the ruck ruckus as long as it doesn't bother other guests. How about showing some manners? I hate surfaces. They're so barbaric. Patooey. 
Okay, no, she just spits on everyone. Got it. Okay, I understand the statement of barbaricness if I came behind the counter to talk to her. But here I was just actually talking to her over the bar. I don't get you. I don't get you. We're here. We may need you to wait for a while, so be patient. Is the Star hi Hierarch the ruler of this place? That's right. He's a prophet who divines the glittering heavens, and we Dragon Guard owe our loyalty to him. Lord Star Hierarch. These are the people who came from the outside world on a flying ship. From the outside. So are they the ones responsible for the aberrations and the lightning? Wow, this old guy seems really stubborn. Well, we'll play along for now. Well, it might be, might indirectly be our fault. The great barrier raised by the daemons got weakened and we flew our ship over it. The great barrier. To what end? The daemons are distorting the surface and we aim to restore it to its former state. To do that, please allow us to explore this realm. I will permit you to visit our realm, but your skyship must remain under our control. Just a second. The Bryon Arc can't even fly right now. You don't need to go that far. Yeah, and it's in bad shape, so it could break if you mess with it. Your Ark will be returned eventually, but now is not the time. Can you at least tell us why? Matilda, tell the Dragon Guard to ground the Ark until you receive further orders. Yeah, now we can't leave this place. I want to investigate as soon as possible. I'm hungry. Eh, but it's still better than being confined to the jails of Hakure Castle. That's true. But well, we don't have time to hang around here forever. Is it time to eat yet? It's strange, though. What is? The Star Hierarch acted rather stubbornly towards us. It felt like his hostility was more than just as just a distrust of strangers. The way he said that our ship would eventually be returned concerns me. We should be on our guard. If we cannot use the Ark, then we can just search for other means of flight. Yep, that's all we gotta do. Speak of the witch, where did Matilda go? Let's look around town for now. <sighs> I think he might be getting a little impatient. Yep, this is a temple, all right. Hey. Can I not activate it because I am blocked? I cannot activate it because I am blocked. This portal is for the Star Hierarch's exclusive use. No matter who you are, only the Star, star Hierarch is allowed to activate or use the portal. Star Hierarch can shovel up this. I love this place. You can hear the voices of so many stars. Can you hear them too? It's hard to understand what Silk says. All I can do is listen to her talk. Oh, sacred stars, please forgive my sins. I mean, what sins with the stars? With the... the demons have only visited the Star Hierarch once in many years. To be honest, this is my first time seeing a demon up close. Right, there was something under my foot and I was concerned for a second. Because it was pointy. Well, uh, it's a big empty temple. Why do you want to become strong to defeat your enemies? Who's your enemy? Those who you consider your enemies are no more than reflections of yourself. The true enemy is within your heart. Okay, but when there's skeletons actually trying to kill me, I don't think that's a reflection of what's in my heart. Just saying. 
Alright, so where the hell's Matilda? And also, the game has strictly said that you can only... You can't leave this place... Without the U... Oh, jeez, 120 soul. I'm gonna need to grind. I can't leave this place without the express use of a Durgan. I have exactly no Durgan. Unless you count the one on the Ark. But I don't think he's going to allow us to fly on him. Just saying. Okay, not this way. Yeah. I have a piece of peace, can't make us all. Oh, there you are. Oh, it's you. Sorry things went that way. Felt like you didn't even want to hear us out. What's his problem? Now, don't say that. I'm sure the Star Hierarch has something in mind. Besides, you were promised that your Ark would be returned to you, right? Just be patient until then. We may not be able to wait that long. Yeah, we have to find the Aether gear soon. Can't you lend us a, the dragon you were flying on? I can't, but... There might be a way. Wait here for a while. What was that all about? Who knows? Anyways, let's just hang out here since that's all she asked us to do. Oh, this dried fish looks delectable. Oh, is this krill over here? And this pot, a positively savory aroma. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> We've received permission. Come outside with me. What for, I wonder? Let's go check it out. You don't say. Uh, where'd you go? Good, yeah. Let's get going then. Paf Lazard. I think I see where this is going. This place is known as the Dragon's Den. We, Dragon Guard, enter into contracts with the dragons and live alongside them. What exactly does that mean? I cannot lend others my Faflazard, nor can I go far from Estern without permission. However, that won't be an issue if you guys are able to acquire your own dragon. Am I wrong? Wow, guess I misjudged you as the stern and stubborn type, but you're actually pretty flexible. Thanks. Are you saying that the Star Hierarch's attitude was different than usual? It seemed he didn't expect for all this to happen. I'll stay here. Let me know if you want to return to Estern. Well then, let's go meet a dragon. I got a feeling that there's going to be a lot more LOL shenanigans when it comes to our penguin buddy. Ooh. Ah, an order gem. 100! Ah, an order gem. 101. I saw the large toes. Are you a little bit bigger than the, our current dragon buddy? Who are you? We're here to ask you guys for help. We dragons only lend our power to those who are worthy. Then we are qualified. Interesting. Show me your power.
You know, my thought process is that, you know, this this is a plot-based one. This is the plot Durgan. Surely it's not gonna be that strong, right? Right? Right. Um uh, I'm gonna do protective sigils. We're gonna do actually you're flying. Duh. Wait, you're flying, but do you count as winged? This is pedantic, but at the same time, I don't know whether or not it actually differentiates the two. Let's just do Rocket Headbutt with you. Okay. That was a fine miss. Stunned on the end of its turn. Rocket head, bud. I think we're doing pretty swimmingly. I think that rocket head, bud, is uh, next to useless at the moment, though. Restoration, restoration, gonna hope you heal up good. Yep. Far less of a threat than, um, another dragon. Very well, you have proven your worth. I shall lend you my wings whenever you summon me. All right, now we'll be able to reach all sorts of new places. The world's our oyster. Aren't oysters in the sea? What does that have to do with flying? Shut up, doggy. Huh, I have no respect whatsoever for daemons. So when you say we're researching this world, what exactly are we supposed to do? We'll find and destroy this world's ether gear, of course. If you said something like that in front of Matilda and that mask guy, they'd just misunderstand. I suppose it's not what you say, but how you say it. Looks like you guys were able to get the dragons to lend you their power. Yeah, thanks, Matilda. All right, time for research. If we'll be traveling, we'll sh we should research this world's cuisine, too. Oh, I second that. That again, you're, you'll gain weight if you're not careful. You're going to get your eyes br uh, blackened if you're not careful there, Gene. No way, that's not gonna happen to me. Wahaha! <laughs> yes, eat so your shape can have. Eat so your body can have the perfect shape, like mine! Jeez, what the hell, Robin? <laughs> you guys really are free spirited. More than we dragon guards who have wings. By the way, you're all planning to go out and explore this world, right? In that case, take this with you. Spear flute. What's this? It's a battle spear that the wee dragon guard use. If you ever face an enemy in the air on your journey, use this spear flute to command a wyvern to attack. I see. So you're saying we can expect to engage in aerial combat. Exactly. In this world, humans and dragons share the same fate. Cooperating with your wyvern is key to victory. The wyvern's ramming and breath attacks are powerful, but since they require more space, you can only have up to three people standing in battle. The basic formation of aerial combat would have one person leading at the front line and the remaining two supporting from the rear. The spear flute acts as an ether act too. If someone is an exact expert in spears or cynomancy, they should be able to work well with the wyverns. Sorry, I, I silently stared at Jean because he's gonna, well, Jean or Azura actually. So that's what we gotta do to survive in this world, huh? Yes, that's right. Well then, I'll be heading back to Esthern. Yay! That dragon's our friend. Hi. Humans and dragons have only ever understood each other through force. We only obey those with strength. Yeah, I learned that the hard way with the, um, 
a one dragon that's part of my guild. Does this technically make two dragons that are part of my guild? Feels like it should. So now I can just... Well then, let's start... Let's try calling the dragon now that it's agreed to help us. Yay, I wanted to ride one. This is gonna be fun. Now ride a wyvern. Um, I'm gonna swap out my party just a smidgen. 15, 27. Yeah, alright, he's 19. Alright, swap you two. No. Yes. And since she just replaced him, she should be in the same position. I think she's actually faster in the first place. One second. Net weight 26 with an agility of 10 versus a net weight of 43 with agility of 13. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll I, I say yeah. All right, so we need to give you a proper spear. The Jasper Spear works as an ether act as well. I did have you going with the spears, right? Yeah. Spear and staff, but I'm going to have her focus more on the spear now since we've got the whole Gurgan thing going on. A Wiccan, a Wiccan. And of course, I'll need to grind up that temp. I probably should have done um, what little more talent point grinding that I think I need to do beforehand. We get before we had gotten to this point. Yeah, the Muse Liar is an Etherak, but it's for magic. I'm gonna replace this with the little Gruffin, and then I think the, yeah, I, I can replace this with a Sardine Charm. <laughs> oh god, it's ridiculous. Ooh, this would reduce her net weight, but also increase her endurance. I kind of want her to have more agility, because the faster that she is, the faster she can cast spells. But it's like every single thing. Actually, wait, 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 wait. I had something that increased focus. Master Robe. But I know I had a better Master Robe. Wait, was it Gene that had that Master Robe? No, he had the Cynomancy here. Okay, it was it was the dryad buddy suit I was thinking of. But I think I want Azura to have the Yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. Yeah 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 yeah. Uh braided hat. Ooh, but if I give her the killer scarf, that would increase her agility. Or it can increase her focus some more. I might be a little... Again, I... Bleh. I had said at one point that I don't have to worry about... Um... Stats all that much. That said, I still worry about stats. Let's see... Yeah, who the hell... You have the highest at 23 agility. Followed by Shiki, Shiki, then Galil. Oh no, then you do at 24. I need to purchase more medicine packs. I also need to get Azura to learn more arts. Because she's got quite a bit, but I know she needs a lot more. What kind of creatures are we facing around here? I know I just spent the last like five minutes looking at things, but... Right, circle swing, which does that.
A boost of agility. Hmm. Zeru is not going to be so much of a problem. More or less just annoying. Did he go Betty Bye? I think he went Betty Bye. I really need to up stuff. Ooh, Chaos Gem. So wait, can I? Yeah, I can't access either. And I thought the Ornithopter, yeah, it can't be used. Magical field in this realm is a bit abnormal, but if you fly on the Ornithopter, you'd probably fall off right away. Too dangerous to try flying. I'm going to point out how that's a little bit silly. Uh, seen as, you know, as far as I recollect, Ornithopters worked on wind currents, not actual flight. I mean, sure, the ones in this flapped. But beyond that, all right. Ooh, is that a big one? That's a big one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and call an episode here. I'm going to save and call an episode here. When we return, I guess we're going to explore this weird crystal -y realm of Durgans. Also, we're on chapter 29. Did not realize we were that far. But thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I'm enjoying playing it. And as always, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.